Hi, judges. My name is Jose Steve. We come to me. This is my partner, Steven Rosas, and my other partner, Brian Nunez. We're from San Jose, California. We attend LPS. San Jose. Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night wanting to go to the bathroom or get a drink of water? But it's dark and you can't see. The only thing you can get is your slippers. Lo peor de todo es que esa noche el piso está congelado y quieres ir al baño. Entonces tienes que coger los dedos del pie y a veces es fastidioso. Olvídate de esos problemas con las drogas. Sleep light. Aparte son muy cómodas, suaves y calientitas. The slippers are just there waiting for you so you can put them on. They're censored by when you put them on the center and the lights turn on and you can walk anywhere you want. Um, our target market is mainly elder people and children. It can benefit children because it can help them get rid of their fear of dark or the night. Like, cause sometimes they might say they might be like a monster under their bed. Um, it could also help children by not being afraid of dark because Sometimes they're afraid and they might wet their bed. And elders, it can benefit them because sometimes they can fall and might not get up. And so our slippers have extra grip on the bottom, which will help them not slip. Um, our design is simple. It's just a slipper, a slip-on slipper with lights in the front. And it's also glowy, like it goes in the dark. So you will Okay, so you will be able to see where it is. Thank you, Jerry, for your time. I hope you enjoy it. So, first of all, this is a genius idea. I just love this. Um, and, uh, I mean, this is just great because, um, I, and I, I first think about uh, little kids because of the lights at night, you know, the fun factor here is huge. Plus, it's like a real problem. Um, and so I think, I think you guys um, really have a, a fun project to work on. And, um, you know, I think you guys have coordinated really well here. And so, you know, the only advice I can give you is to think about, you know, as you continue to work on this, a little bit more energy and excitement around it. And, and tap into the fun, because you guys have a great project that you can have a lot of fun with. So help, help others understand, you know, understand that. And I think you'll, get, you'll have um, more success in getting people to help you, uh, because it's just such a great project. But good, but good job. I agree with Sandra. I think this is a great interesting project. Uh, it's a project in itself, very useful. I would encourage you to think about, rather than looking at the sleeper as a whole, is actually make it as an add-on product. Mm -hmm. Because people tend to actually you know, like their own sleepers, mm -hmm. and you don't want to be in the really just sleeper business, but things that distinguish you in terms of you know the, the new capability. So make it as something that you can put in, in the typical sleeper, and that's like the, the area of you can actually focus on, and make it great. I thought it was really smart that you're targeting both elders and children. I think oftentimes they have a lot of things in common in <laughs> so it's really smart. Um, is there a way that you're going to differentiate the two models? We can make some like, for little kids, we can make like cartoons, mm -hmm. put cartoons in them, color lights if they want. And for elderly to feel like comfortable, like comfortable, we can make them comfortable. I love that you use both the Spanish and the English, especially in this market. I think that's really brilliant. As someone who does not have fluent Spanish, I wondered about how much of the, how much of it got translated, if the entire thing, you know, how, I think when you think about marketing in the future, like how are you using both languages really strategically um, so that both audiences feel really like they understand both. But yeah, use it as, I mean, it's sort of a strength. It's, a, it's, it's even something extra to bring to this project. Thank you.